Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and we are here today with Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. Welcome, welcome. How y'all doing today? I only have about 20 minutes so we can't fuck around too much. We're gonna jump straight into it. Now, as some of you know, this is going to be a re-recording of um, the last session, which um, the video got corrupted. I'm very sorry about that, so we're just gonna redo it kind of quickly. Here's Luigi in his new mansion. It didn't come with a rainbow in the picture, so he's pretty pissed. I mean, who wouldn't be? Uh, yeah, it is October 20... Wait a sec! I'm so bad with dates. It's actually October 26th today, 2016, and it's Halloween season. So what better game to play than this? It's a uh, three spooky, three spooky five at Crims. Hmm? Oh my god. So we're playing this on the original uh, GameCube. Uh, or actually we're playing on the Wii and using the GameCube disc. But yeah, we're playing on the console, so no emulator bullshit. And, um, um, so see, compared to last time, we are uh, doing this in the standard PAL version. So it is 4x3, you know, non-widescreen, and it is in 50 hertz, so 25 FPS. It kind of sucks, but hey, who gives a shit, really? And um, that's the reason why the video got corrupt the last time, is because we forced the GameCube to run it at 60 hertz and widescreen. And that, for some reason, made the um, capture cards, uh, you know, flip. So it turned out like shit. You can see it on my Crimson Crap channel if you want to. And, um, you know, at first I was like, you know, who, who gives a shit? And I just put it up. But uh, now when I, you know, as I said in my vlog, I'm gonna look back to this series in, you know, years to come. And I'm always going to be bothered that the first episode is unwatchable because it's so out of sync. It's crap. And nobody likes that. So I think it's a it's a better idea to redo it, and we're doing it without any codes. We're doing it on the original Paul version. Spookfest! Oh my god! Luigi, give me oh. Who the fuck is that? This is Professor Oak's son? It looks like a Pokeball, you know, this, the thing on his back. Uh, so in the last session, I talked about a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that wasn't in my mind, and a lot of shit that's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna do that again, so I'm not gonna do it now. Uh, if you want to hear it, then you can check out the fail session if you want to. But who gives a shit, really? Uh, we're gonna do this the real way. As a, you know, complete new series, and don't need to dick around too much. So this is Professor Igad. Oh my god. Kind of, this house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. Uh, I'm not gonna be too much into the cutscenes and the texts, uh, since this game isn't very story heavy. And I don't think anyone really, you know, cares about deep storytelling right now. We only want a spook fest and it's, you know, this game is pretty self-explanatory. Luigi goes into the mansion, gets spooked, this professor helps him out with a vacuum. Luigi! Oh. And go studying Professor Ghost Research Lab. Yes, you won this mansion in the contest and you didn't even enter. It seems, sounds pretty fishy to me. And then, like, oh shit, yeah, Mario was here too. Yeah, a guy with a red hat without even stopping to chat and he never returned. And the is like, what? That's my brother, you piece of shit! Okay, let's go ahead and find him. So here the controls are. Nope. So the vacuum cleaner is for catching ghosts, and this really reminds me of the AVGN episode, uh, the Ghostbusters episode, where he wants to get, um, you know, a ghost vacuum. And, you know, there exists. And he said in that video that if you want to vacuum ghosts, then you have to do it in, in the Ghostbusters NES game, when you put the vacuum on top of your car. Um, but, you know, this game exists. You can suck up ghosts with in this game. So just flash on them, take up this, and like, wow, suck him in! Nice and easy. 
Oh, never mind. I think he said if you want to drive around on the highway and uh, vacuum up ghosts while you're driving, then you have to do it in the Ghostbusters NES game. That was what he said. So yeah, never mind. I'm I'm derailing too much. Well, you know. <laughs> But I don't really think you can derail too much. I mean, this is a, you know, chill commentary series. There isn't really any no way I really need to do this. Oh shit, shit. Oh wow! Look at the man! Yeah, I'll stay away from the other guy. There we go. Now, as I said in the last session, I love the controls in this game. It's so intense. And that's what's so beautiful with... Oh! Seven Ghosts. Nice. You see, that's so wonderful with Nintendo games. They are designed to, you know, please every single type of gamer. The hardcore ones that want, you know, intense gameplay, and also those who just want to play something chill. And, you know, that, that's just so great. And I think that's going to be... It's going to be like that in the new Zelda game as well. Uh, Breath of the Wild. It's going to, you know, please every single type of gamer, I think. When it comes to, you know, how hard you want it to be. If you want the game to be hard, you can get your challenge. I mean, you can go to the final boss right away. And that's so fucking cool. So this is the Game Boy Horror. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. So we can search around on stuff. And Luigi will comment, it's a statue, a very tall angel statue by the looks of it. It's so weird to see, you know, Luigi in this type of investigation game, and he he talks and explains what he sees. It's, um, it's so weird. So where the fuck am I? This is the gallery, hang the goat paintings, blah blah, turn machine, um, paintings into, you know, ghosts into paintings, and even reverse. King Boo? Yabu Yabu? From Ocarina of Time? What the fuck are you hiding from me? I'm just kidding. Yes, well, can I uh, please? <laughs> What's a Game Boy Horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communication terminal. It has all sorts of functions. We can see the items we've picked up. We can see, you know, we can take pictures. We can display a map. It's so freaking good. Now, can we go and catch some fucking ghosts? Ugh. Back to the lab, okay. Yes, the mansion, please. Here we go, now the real thing begins. Man, for the time when this game came out, it looked, and it still looks pretty damn good. And I've never seen graphics in this caliber when it, when it came out. I mean, this game is a launch title for the GameCube. And there's a toad. And it just looks gorgeous. Yeah, Princess fucking Mario, blah blah blah, full ghost Mario, drink drunk. I, what? I didn't say anything. Uh, yes, leave it to me, boy! And you punch him in the face, and he's like, yeah! And uh, we can save the game. Yes. And I just love that, how fast you save this game. Really good. Really, really good. So, let's continue. Now these ghosts are gonna know the meaning of Crimsy Dude! I'm just gonna get the money first. No, no, it's not like I need money. I own this house, so I can just sell it. Hmm, what am I supposed to do? Oh? Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes! They love the dark, and now they will get you! Ugh. Now you're in for it, blue. Spooky paintings. Yes, like the little red cap before you. You know, that's what the name should be. Super Red Cap Brothers. Here they are. What? How am I supposed to deal? You don't think I can deal? I know your numbers. Okay, is that all? No? Woo! What the fuck? There we go. All right, um, a new topic. Uh, so next month, November, which is pretty soon, uh, it's going to be the month of crims, or whatever you want to call it. So it's basically, uh, during November, it's going to be a seven year anniversary since I started making commentary. 
And I know, I know the first thing you're thinking, it's like, what the fuck, Crims? You've been doing commentary for seven years and you only have like 300 subscribers. And like 100 of them aren't even around anymore. Or even more. Uh, fail alarm. Yes, I know. It's very fail. But, yeah, what can you do? So, yeah, it's going to be a seven year anniversary during November. Uh, I think it's uh, the 21st November, it's where I officially started. But um, my plan is, I'm gonna make a video about this as a normal vlog. But um, my plan for November is that every week there's going to be a special type of video. Yeah, get back here! Okay, so... Like, um, every Friday... Oh shit. No. Man, don't you suck! So my plan is basically that, um, like, um, every Friday there's going to be a, like a special type of video. So like the first Friday there's going to be, um, it's going to be the biggest project. It's going to be like four big projects uh, during the course of uh, four Fridays. And the first one I think is going to be like the making of crimps, how I make my videos, how I record it. You know, I'm just gonna let out my um, uh, my experiences, you know, after doing this for like seven years. Different ways to record, how I do it now, and what works good, and microphone placements. You know, every single thing you would like to know. It's going to be very focused on how you record games on the console, uh, on the consoles. Um, so that's going to be the biggest video, I think, the making of Crims. I hope you will enjoy that. I've already begun, you know, writing down notes how I'm going to how I'm going to talk about it. Oh fuck! Uh, you know, a structure. I already have the structure planned. And if there's anything right now you would like to know about, uh, you know, would want me to include, then now would be a good time to say that before I make the video. Like, Crims, don't forget to talk about this, because I really wonder, you know. Uh, so yeah, please go ahead and ask if there's anything you'd like to know. There we go, that's the green shit, dude. Let's get the banana peel and get the fuck out of here. Hello, Toad! Punch him! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Uh, might as well save. I don't have much in the ways of money. I'm sorry. Daisy will never love me. Oh shit! And they respawned? What's the bloody point? Okay, so that's uh, the plan for the first uh, Friday. Or maybe not Friday, it might be a Saturday. I'm not really sure. It's just gonna be one special video once per week. Oh, I fall, fell flat on my ass. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, so the second video is going to be. Um, I don't. I mean, the order isn't um, you know finished yet. The order which how they will come. Uh, wait, I think I need to catch every single ghost in here first. No. There we go. Okay, so the second video is going to be uh, uh, like... Um, I think it's going to be the Crimson Highlights uh, 4. We have uh, three of them as of now. And the third one uh, was like three years ago. So I think it's time we, we know we made a new Crimson Highlights. And once again, is there, if there's any you know a specific Crims moment you would like to be included, then please leave that in the comment as well. Uh, I already have a document with some highlights I'm going to include. But there is if, if there's any ones uh, that, um, you know, you remember that, oh, Crims, that was very good, you know, you should include that, then just go ahead and tell me. And that's going to be released on the second week, I think, the Crimson Highlights 4. And then for the third week, it's going to be like the evolution of Crims. And it's uh, basically going to be the same thing how I did it in, um, you know, the three-year anniversary. Man, I can't believe it has already been four years since that anniversary but I made like um, a video showing how my style has changed from the very first video 
how it sounded, how it looked, how I talked, everything. And I, like I showed like a part from every series up to that point, the three year anniversary. And so, see how, how my commentary style has changed, how my recording has changed, the quality, everything. It's so fun to see in such a short time span. Uh, so that's going to be a new one, you know, um, remade for, um, you know, seven years. So you can see how it has changed over the course of seven years. I hope you'll how you will, I hope you will like that. I'm sorry if I sound a little stressed in this episode. It's been a quite a day, really. And before recording this session, I, um, you know, I spent like one hour just setting up the microphone and uh, preparing everything and hoping it isn't going to crash. And speaking of crashing, the same thing happened now on my screen, on my computer screen that happened in the last episode, which was that um, the capturing program, which is called Media Express, froze. It has frozen right now, which is the exact same thing that happened in the last one. So if I'm very unlucky here, we might have the exact same problem as the last episode. But I don't think that will happen. We shall see. There we go, come on over here! Okay, that was kind of good. Um, but yeah, we shall see if this session turned out good or not. I really hope it uh, doesn't... I really hope it won't have the same problem as the last one, because I can't take that. Because then I don't know how I'm going to do, you know, for the upcoming parts. I mean, how am I supposed to record any different if all of them gets corrupted like this? Because when I record with the Black Magic Intensity Shuttle, that's like the only program I can use unless I stream it. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to stream it. I want to record it locally to get, you know, the best possible quality. But yeah, we will see. Hmm? Uh, yeah, so the third video is going to be um, the evolution of Crims, and then the fourth and final video is just going to be a long vlog. I'm just going to talk about everything there is, you know, on my mind when it comes to the commentary channel. Just talk out as much as I can, no restrictions or anything, just going to talk out everything. So if you want to hear me jab, I don't know, I don't know if that video is going to be any good or not. Uh, I guess we will see. So this ghost, she gets really cranky when she op when we open the window. She's like, oh no, stop it! And maybe you should fix your fucking window, you bitch! Or you can make my sandwich. That would be suffice. That would suffice. We need more pearls. And she closes it, and she falls for the exact same thing again. Look at this. Maybe she thinks I'm a ghost, you know, like that movie, uh, The Others, or whatever it's called. The Other Side. I think it's called The Others. Man, I fell very fast there. And there's Toad on the other side. And, um, yeah, I'm going to record this session as one part, because I need to get going soon, as I said before. So I'm just gonna make this as, as one big part, and we're gonna uh, try to get back on track. Uh, you know, where we were on the last episode, or where we ended the last episode, that's where we're gonna end this one. So most likely this episode is going to be much shorter than the last one, because now I know exactly what to do. And I'm just kind of rushing through it, I hope that's okay. I guess I've already done this, and done commentary on it. So it feels kind of weird to do the, you know, commentary on the same parts, you know, one more time. But yeah, there's Toad over there. Let's open up this as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in other news, um, I recently bought... Uh, if you follow my Twitter, please do that, because I update uh, pretty often. So if you want to like follow me and what I do in my silly life, then please follow my Twitter, uh, CrimsonAE. I only have one now. I deleted my Facebook and Twitter for King Crims because I felt that that was just annoying. So I only have one Twitter and only one Facebook page. So please go ahead and follow those. You can find links in the, 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 in the description. 
Uh, but yeah, um, so I recently bought um, a GTX uh, 1080, which is, uh, as of now, the best graphics card in the world. That's kind of saying something. And I'm very happy with it. It cost, uh, what was it, like uh, $700? If I convert it from my currency. I got it pretty cheap, but yeah, about um, $700 for it. So it, it, it is the most expensive upgrade I've ever bought. I think it's the most expensive single thing I've ever bought. But now when I have a full-time job, it's okay, I guess. So I'm gonna take, no, 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 stop! There we go. Mm, and now I can play every single game and just max it right out. I'm so happy with it. So I'm playing a lot of Overwatch recently. I mean, I have played Overwatch a lot. I'm up in like 90 hours now and the game came out in May. Uh, so I'm playing a lot of Overwatch in full graphic settings and in 2K. About, yeah, 2K resolution. It's fucking amazing, and I'm playing it in 120 FPS. And that's like uh, six times the FPS of what, you, what you're seeing right now. I'm recording this gameplay here in 25 FPS, and I'm playing Overwatch in games like that in 120 FPS. It's such a big fucking difference, and uh, it's great. It's great. But yeah, I'm playing a lot of uh, Blizzard games on Battle.net, Heroes of the Storm, um, yeah, and I own StarCraft 2 and stuff like that, and Legion, and Overwatch, of course. So if you want to, um, if you want to add me on Battle.net and play with me, uh, please go right ahead. And Battle.net uh, recently added uh, voice chat, and that's like about damn time. There we go. So we can talk and play games if we want to. Get in here, fuck. And my battle tag is uh, crims hashtag 2882. That's crims hashtag 2882. So please add me there if you want to play some shit. But I do live in Europe, so I play on the Europe servers. I think it's possible to like jump to the other servers, but uh, that is going to result in latency problems and ping and shit like that. I mean, if you live you know, anywhere else, uh, if you don't live in the Europe region, I mean. So yeah, that's very exciting, got the GTX 1080, very pleased with it. And also, um, I all, um, at the same time in the store I bought uh, Windows 10. And you might be thinking, well you fucking dick Crims, why are you paying for Windows, just download it. You know, I've used an illegal copy of Windows, like, my entire life. Um, not counting the family computers I've used. Uh, so I thought it's about damn time I get a real Windows key. So I bought Windows 10, the home edition, uh, because um, of DirectX 12, mostly. Because, you know, the graphics card is made for, you know, next generation, very true next generation. And so that counts for um, DirectX 12 as well. And, and games like Gears of War 4, which got released pretty recently, got included with the graf graphics card. So it was very, very worth it, in my opinion. Man, I really suck at this. Um, yeah, so I can. So that's why I needed uh, Windows 10, is to play you know games that uses uh, DirectX 12. And I think in the future, a lot more games are going to use that. So might as well get it now, with the graphics card. So I got Windows 10, uh, have uh, played around with it, uh, learned it with the little free time I have after work and, um, you know, riding the bus. So a lot of time has, uh, went, went into that. And, you know, installing everything, making sure everything works, you know, the capture card, the recordings, the Adobe Premiere Pro, everything. Just uh, gonna make sure everything works. Uh, but now it is working very well, and hopefully this, this session will be recorded uh, just fine. And there we go, the boss is dead. And just in time, because I need to go like now. Get the big chest. Nice. Let's get the fuck out of here. No? Okay. 
Can you hear me? Thank you, Mr. K. Blah, blah, blah. I was worried a tad bit, but not too much. You show that good boss ghost who's boss. I'm so fucking funny. Yeah, the ghost portification or size or something. And it turns ghosts into paintings. And it also works in the other way around. So keep that in mind. So here are the ghosts we catched. You know, the big ghosts. Not the little shitty ones. Hmm. But yeah, this episode is uh, kind of over soon. I guess we can just enjoy this. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. How the fuck does that make sense? And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. And also for this session, I'm uh, recording using uh, my SM57 microphone, uh, di uh, the dynamic one. Uh, the reason why is uh, I I compared it when I was to work, listening to my own commentary with the different microphones. And my last session of Resident Evil Zero, which used this microphone, I just like how it sounded. Like when I was close, like this. It was a very, very comfy commentary. No, but uh, I liked it. And um, this microphone takes up a lot less noise, which is great. And uh, this room I am in right now, it's, you know, kind of big. So there's a problem with um, echoing, or like a reverb effect. <laughs> like a real-life reverb. Um, so that condenser microphone picks up this reverb a lot, I noticed in the last um, Luigi's Mansion session. And I don't like that echoey feeling, it, re it reminds me of um, Resident Evil 3, that was recorded in a big room with the condenser microphone. So I got this weird room reverb during the whole series and not a big fan of that. So we're gonna do this with uh, the, con the dynamic SM57 Sure microphone. Look at this. Number two. Lydia. Nice. Um, can we... There we go. <laughs> Thought it froze. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, if you're still watching, then thank you very much for, um, you know, sticking with me through this rambling re-recording of this first part. Mm -hmm. If you're a new viewer, then, um, yeah, all I can say is welcome and thank you very much for watching. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on, so this video wasn't very focused on, you know, grabbing new viewers. It was a lot, you know, already in the box kind of video. Uh, what, what or however you want to say that. Um, I would like to thank you all very much for watching once again. Uh, this game is really nice to record and we're back on track and hopefully now I'm really really scared that we're gonna get the same problem again. It's going to be off sync for the entire video. But hopefully it won't be. Uh, we shall see and I'm probably you seeing it right now so you will know if it did turn out good or not. Hopefully it did. Because uh, the... Yeah. Right, I will see you next time, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really bad at ending episodes, but... Yeah, see you in the next part.